Where my champions at? Where my champions? Dim the lights just to recreate the ambience. I'm about to murder the stage, call an ambulance. Moment of silence, my condolences. I'm going crazy, I don't think that I can hold it in. I pray to God to forgive me for my life of sin. I'm jumping in even if I don't. Good morning, guys. I am in the Fitness First studio in King's Cross doing my cardio. I'm just checking my uh, thing at the moment so you guys can see here. Being up for 45 minutes. Um, yeah, training pretty good. I woke up this morning and I was kind of stressed because I was like, shit, I felt like I have a lot to do today. And honestly, it's just crushing one thing at a time. Taking care of my physical and my mental health first are going to be more important than anything else. So it's a little bit different. It is freaking cold this morning. I was actually going to ride down to uh, Rose Bay, but I was like, freaking, this is just so cold. So I thought I'd come to King's Cross. I'd get a bit of a workout done. I'd push it pretty hard, and then I'll go home, get a meet up with my client, Joseph. We're going to do some food shopping, and then we're going to go to the client lunch. So I'll keep you guys updated soon. Have a great Sunday. So my client decided to sleep in, and it's just me in here at the moment. Um, doing my food shopping. As you can see, it's pretty dead at the moment because it's nice and early. I thought I'd get in and get it done. Um, got my food shopping down here. Right now, I am in the rice cracker aisle, as you can see behind me, because I need a little bit of extra carbs. And I'm actually trying to look for a good, um, trying to look for a good cooking oil that I can use. And as you guys can see here, this is where the special is, all those chocolates are. Look at all these chocolates. Oh my God, I've already got them all. So anyways, trying to find the extra virgin olive oil stuff to see what the best types are so let's go and have a quick look when i find it i'll keep you guys updated and i'll speak to you soon i'm gonna pull out these headphones i'll pull them. so i found some olive oil it is extra virgin olive oil that i've got in here today in my bag um extra virgin olive oil organic one so it's the Woolworths organic one it was on sale so I thought I'd pick it up and see how I go now I am on the way back home to go and put the stuff away I've had a couple of people ask me lately how much money I spend on food a week since you know I eat pretty healthy and it's a lot of fruit and vegetables usually it's about hundred and ten to hundred and twenty dollars a week on food but that's because I eat huge quantities too so you've got to remember that like I eat massive amount of food so you guys could probably get away with honestly maybe like $70 a week on yourself like I remember when I was living at home it probably cost me about $70 a week and that's because I wasn't eating as many vegetables but it's also because um, you know like the food I was eating was pretty cheap you know because I was living on the cheap so it depends on the better quality food the more expensive it's gonna be but you can honestly like you can get a lunch worth of meal prep for the week for like 20 bucks kilo of mints some beans a couple of veggies and you're laughing like a kilo of mints cost you what eight dollars and then a couple of like let's say one uh, let's say two whole cap skins and an onion so my question like four dollars and then you might add in a broccoli so what's that up to now that's up to thirteen dollars and then two cans of beans so you could literally meal prep for three to four days a week for under sixteen dollars just thinking about that Anyways, I'm gonna walk home, I'm gonna put this stuff away, I'm gonna do my morning shake, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Man, I am freezing today, guys. Like, honestly, friggin' hell. I don't know what it is about it. I'm so glad I'm in this town at the moment. I am on the way to the group lunch. Uh, we've actually had a little bit of a change of venue, so we're gonna go down to a place called Time for Tie, which is my favorite. You guys have seen me there a couple of times before, so that's always gonna be good. Um, pretty much what else is going on? Oh yeah, so it depends. I actually had this client who wanted to sign up yesterday with online coaching, and then he decided to change his mind. And I want to share it with you guys because at first I was really upset, I guess you could say. Like I was like, oh, because he, the, the reason, first of all, he told me that he couldn't afford it. And I was like, look, that's fine. I completely understand. Um, do you, is it really like that you can't afford it? Because you told me yesterday that you can afford it. And he said he did, he said he had the money. And now he's saying he doesn't. So I thought there was something a little bit off there. And when I asked him, he goes, look, to be honest, you're just not, uh, you're not the guy who I want to look like. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, look, I look at you and you know, you're pretty slim and you're skinny, but I want to, you know, I don't want to look like you. I want to build up a lot of lean muscle and you look nothing like you should be. Like you look, he goes, you just look like an average trainer. And it really hurt me at first. I was like, oh. And then I was thinking about trying to convince him otherwise. But then I was like, you know what? 
I don't want to work with someone like that, you know? Like, I don't want to train someone who, if just because they don't look, like, because I don't look the part, doesn't mean that I can't help people become who they want to be because my goal is to be the best, you know, the best transformation coach out there. And I'm not going to look like everyone's ideal person. I'm not going to be huge and muscly and jacked and ripped. And it really, like, I was just thinking about that. Like, I was like, fuck. And, like, I started to question about how I look and things like that. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to appeal to everyone. And that's fine. That's completely fine. And I just want to share with you guys because I actually, I couldn't, I, I couldn't come to grips with it until I thought about talking about this, like, with this struggle with you. And I was like, yeah, it's actually true. Like, you know, like, I am not going to be huge and jacked and muscly. And, like, I know that because... It's just not in my nature. Like, you look at my body composition and that's just not going to be me at the end of the day. And I'm completely okay with that. Like, at the end of the day, my, I'm just going to be, you know, I'm going to have some lean muscle mass. I'm going to look good, but I'm not going to look amazing. I'm not going to be an amazing looking personal trainer. I'm not going to be huge and bulky and that's just that. So, I'm actually happy that I got to uh, accept that for myself and now share it with you guys because... You're not gonna look like most of us are just average, and that's just how it is. And we've just got to accept it and be happy with how we are. Like every day, you can look as good as you want to look, but it's not gonna be perfect. So don't don't be upset about that. And I just want to share it with you guys because it was a big thing for me when I finally came to realise it. I was like, you know what? That's fine. That's completely fine. There's other people out there, and hey, everyone's uh, everyone's different. All right, guys. Speak to Back and got these goggles on again. Gonna see how I go. Uh, this afternoon, I finished up with the team, did some more client programming at home, came and meal prepped, and kind of just got the rest of my day sorted. Had a little bit of free time tonight, so I've been watching some YouTube videos, uh, reading some blog articles, and honestly, I'm gonna use this uh, tape that I brought today. Some uh, black duct tape, and I am gonna black out that window over there black out this stuff over here so I have no external light coming in to help me sleep better. That's going to be my job for the next hour before I go to bed. Well guys, that's pretty much the update. Pretty good Sunday if I do so myself. I smashed everything I planned to do so I'm happy. Speak to you tomorrow.